How about the Florida Dive Show with Tony Ludovico? Tony, you do some marvelous work. It's very different. Uh, tell me a little bit about your technique. Sure. I'm a free dive photographer who spends 90% uh, of my time in open water. As you can see, shooting pelagic fish. Pelagic being sailfish, dorado, tuna, wahoo. Um, what I do is I take a digital negative and convert it into a TIFF file and bring it to a fine art printer who then lays the image on canvas. Now, now there's been a lot of problems in the, below the surface of the ocean, a declining stock, overfishing, and things of that nature. Have you noticed it over the years? Oh, sure. I've noticed a big change in, in the ocean over the last seven years that I've been doing this. Any hope for changing that? Yeah, I, I, I see a big change already. Here, Even just here in Florida, with, when they um, put the net, net ban into effect, over the last five years, I can see the ocean coming back. The bait fish are starting to come back now, and in turn, that brings in the other fish that feed on the bait fish, and then before you know it, the cycle of life is back in swing again. Now, one of the paintings we're gonna move over to here is a shark. Talk a little bit about the technique. Uh, I've become much more aware of the senseless shot slaughter of the sharks, specifically for their fin. Uh, someday, if we don't stop that, the only way people are going to know about sharks is in a picture like this. That's so right. Uh, tell me a little bit about the picture. Well, this picture was taken in the Exumer Islands of Bahamas. Uh, it's a silky shark on a reef called Danger Reef. Um, actually, these sharks here are pretty tame. They're uh, pretty much a tourist attraction in that area. and That's probably the reason why they get so big is they're in a protected area. A shark like this with a fin like that, wouldn't have a chance in the open water if uh, finners got their hands on it. So, you know, something to think about. You know, sharks are a very important part of the um, ecosystem in the ocean. They clean up all the weak and, you know, sickly fish and feed on it. And if you take that out of this, the whole chain of life, it becomes an imbalance in the ocean. So, something Let's go to really to this bird think about. picture here. Tell me a little bit about this one. This one here was shot in East Lumber Harris, Mexico. It's a, a photo of the migration path of the Atlantic sailfish as they come around the backside of the Florida Keys and wind up smashing into thousands and thousands of schools of Spanish sardines in the Gulf. And uh, for about three months every year, um, it's this phenomenon known as bait balls, where the Atlantic sailfish are feeding on Spanish sardines. If somebody wanted more information on your work, uh, do, you, do you have a website? Sure, they can go to tloveimages.com. T-L-U-V-I-M-A-G-E-S.com. That's correct. Have a great show. Thank okay, you for your thank time. You. Is that all right? That was great. Thank you.